वाई डू आई फील हेजिटेशन इन एन्जॉइंग एनी थिंग जॉय इज नॉट अलाउड यू आर प्री कंडीशनड अगेंस्ट जॉय फ्रॉम द वेरी चाइल्ड चाइल्ड हुड यू हैव बीन टॉट दैट इफ यू आर हैप्पी देन समथिंग इज रॉन्ग अनहैप्पी एवरी थिंग इज गुड इफ यू आर माइजेबल नबडी इज वरीड अबाउट इट बट इफ यू आर टू हैप्पी एवरीबडी इज वरीड अबाउट यू यू मस्ट हैव डन समथिंग रॉन्ग वेन एवर ए चाइल्ड इज हैप्पी द पेरेंट्स स्टार्ट लुकिंग फॉर द कोच ही मस्ट हैव डन सम मिस चीड और समथिंग वाई इज ही सो हैप्पी द पेरेंट्स आर नॉट हैप्पी दे हैव ए डीप जीलसी टूवर्ड्स द चाइल्ड बिकॉज ही इज हैप्पी दे मे नॉट बी अवेयर ऑफ इट बट दे आर जीलस इट इज इजी टू टॉलरेट सम बडी एल्स माइजरी बट इट इज ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल टू टॉलरेट एनी बडी एल्स हैप्पीनेस so if you feel yourself unhappy you have been doing something wrong with yourself if you cannot enjoy if some hesitation comes in if you feel afraid guilty it means somewhere by the corner the shadow of your parents are still lurking you may be enjoying or trying to enjoy ice cream but deep in the unconscious the shadow of the mother or the father is lurking this is wrong don't eat too much this is going to harm you so you are eating but the hesitation is there the hesitation means that the contradiction is there try to understand your hesitation and drop it and this is one of the most unbelievable phenomena that if you drop the hesitation it may come to pass that you drop eating too much ice cream automatically because eating too much may be part of it because they have denied it they have created a certain attraction in it every daniel brings attraction they have said don't eat it and that was created a hypnotic a magnetic attraction to eat it if you stop having any hesitation you drop all the parents voices all the upbringing that you have been forced to go enough you may suddenly see the ice cream edge just an ordinary thing something one can enjoy it but it is not a food it has no nutritious value it may even be harmful but when you understand if it is harmful you understand it you don't eat it and you can always eat it sometimes sometimes even harmful things are not so harmful once in a while you can enjoy it but there is no obsession to eat it too much the obsession is part of the repression consciously it can be dropped it is not your being it is just in your brain it is just an idea which has been forced upon you it has become a long habit and a very dangerous habit at that because if you can't enjoy then what is this life for and these people who cannot enjoy anything love life food or beautiful scenes a sunset a morning beautiful clothes a good bath small things ordinary things if you cannot enjoy these things and there are people who cannot enjoy anything they become interested in god they are the most impossible people they can never reach to god god enjoys these trees otherwise why does he go on creating them he is not fed up at all not at all for millennia he has been working on trees and flowers and birds and he goes on listening he goes on replacing new beings new earths new planets he is really very very colorful look at life watch it and you will see the heart of god how it is people who are very uptight unable to enjoy anything unable to relax incapable even of enjoying a good sleep they are the very few people who become interested in god and they become interested for the wrong reasons they think that because life is useless fertile they have to seek and search of god their god is against life remember god is the very fulfillment of life god is the very fragrance of life god is the total organic 
unity of life. God is not something that exists like a dead rock. God is not static. God is a dynamic phenomenon. God does not exist. It happens when you are ready. It happens. Don't think that God exists somewhere and you will find a way to reach him. No, there is now here and there is no God existing somewhere waiting for you. God is something that happens to you when you are ready. When you are ready, when the sadness has disappeared and you can dance. When the heaviness has disappeared and you can sing. When the heavy weight of conditioning is no more on your heart and you can flow. God happens. God is not a thing that exists. It is something that happens. It is a dynamic, organic unity. And when God happens, everything happens. The trees, the stars, the rivers and to me, to be capable of enjoying is the door. Serious people have never been known to have reached him.